right. So you guys ask me, I'm leaving that in there. You guys ask me all the time, what do you think this celebrity had? What do you think that celebrity had? Um, so I'm doing this series with some of my employees. This is Sarah. Hi. And I know what Sarah had. And Sarah knows what Sarah had. I do. Um, and so with this, we're actually going to look at some real people, real faces, and actually show you, you know, Sarah, how long have you been working here? I want to say almost four years. Four years. Okay. So she's been here about four years. And uh, my employees, they have pretty much unlimited access at, at either very little cost or no cost to most of the things that we do here. And so... Um, it becomes kind of like, what do you actually want and what looks pretty and that kind of stuff as opposed to, it kind of takes the access and affordability out of it, which is kind of nice. Um, one of the things I like about Sarah is Sarah is, I think, very natural looking. And we'll look at some of the before and after pictures I'm gonna show you. Um, and as I was putting these together, one of the things that struck me is you're very subtly improved, but not, but all, people often think like, if you could have access to anything, like you'll go overboard. Right. Not at all. So. Yeah. Would you tell tell us what have you done so far here? Okay, so I think the most dramatic improvement would be my nose. Um, so we did, or I know it's almost been a year, which is crazy, a year in September. Um, so that would be, I, I think, the biggest thing. And then I've done um, some fillers and Botox and like microneedling is one of my favorite services here. I really like that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, let's start with the nose. Um, you guys are seeing this on screen. Sarah's seeing this today, kind of for the first time. Ah, um, I just love it. What, what do you see? What, does it, what impressions do you get when you look at that? I just feel like my face is so much more balanced in this second photo. I mean, the profile is just like perfect. But I don't know, it's just like, it's just so much cuter. Yeah, it's cuter. Like, I, I think you just look, I say this a lot with noses, friendlier. In a, in a weird way, I think you look a little friendlier and just like a little just kind of softer and, and I don't know, some, something about the, on a woman, on my nose is terrible, but on a woman especially, a convex, strong nose comes across almost a little harsh, I think. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's kind of a softness, I think, in the, in the after. Right. Now, you mentioned you had some injectable treatments done. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what injectable treatments you've had done? So I've done my lips. I did, um, I did my jawline, but that's been about two or so years ago. And then I did tear trap recently. I did that shortly after the rhinoplasty. Okay, so jawline. So this I think is of the injectable tree. And you said how long has it been? Uh, two and a half years probably. Okay, so a lot of times people, you know, we just kind of get in this mode. This filler is one year, this filler is one year, nine months, two years. So the pictures you guys are seeing, the pictures she's about to see, two years after jawline. Did you do any cheek? Uh, yes. Okay, so take a look at that and tell me what you see. Oh yeah. I think I look thinner. It's they're all just... gonna ask, are you thinner? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, okay, because well, they're gonna ask, that's a question, that's a yeah. genuine question. Yeah. So um, I think you can, re this is two years after your jawline treatment. Right, that's crazy. Yeah, so you can see um, the back part of the jaw, the gonial angle, the chin itself, the high outer cheek, you can almost see that on the far cheek better than the closed cheek on these pictures, so the cheek kind of away from the screen. Yeah. Um, and then the nose, and it's actually changed. These are this is uh, these are flat lenses, so I don't have the ability to zoom this lens. These lenses are fixed focus, so a lot of times when you see changes like this with the central face changing from the outer face, it's because the objective distance is different. This is not the case. These are professional flat focus lenses. They're not phone the phone photos. Totally change your facial proportions. Yeah, yeah. What do you see when you look at those? I feel like I look younger. <laughs> yeah, so those pictures are four years older. Right, so that's, that's good. I mean, who doesn't want to look younger? Um, I feel like before, I would always get the question, where are you from? And I feel like people would put me in like different regions, like I could be from almost anywhere. So, and now I just feel like, I don't know, people really don't ask me that anymore. Well, let me ask you a question. That, that brings up a question. A lot of people will say, what is your background? Do you know, I think Italian right? and German. Italian and German, okay. So a lot of times I'll have patients say, um, I don't want my, and I'm not, I love Lebanese people, but say, I don't want my Lebanese nose anymore. I'll have other people say, I don't want to lose my Lebanese look right. or substitute Indian, Italian, Bosnian, whatever you want. Um, so you said, you know, people used to ask you where you're from and yeah. now not so much. Right. Does that, is it neither here nor there? Is it weird? Does it bother you? Don't ask you anymore, or is it? Are you like happy not to be asked anymore? Probably happy, because I'm like, oh, I have to go explain this again. Yeah. Um, but 
Yeah, it doesn't bother me. I okay. just think it's interesting. Yeah, that's it. I, that's see, this is why I'm glad I'm we're talking because I yeah. would never have crossed my mind that that's something <laughs> that happened and doesn't yeah. happen anymore. It's always that, and then Sarah with or without an H. Those are like the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Sarah with an H. With, with an H. So, um, well, thank you for doing that. Um, Will you give them like three or four words on your rhinoplasty recovery? What was the, what was the surgery day like? What was the rhinoplasty day like? Um, I would say as far as the recovery goes, it was maybe pretty uncomfortable the first couple days, but I was really swollen, remember? I remember, that's why I'm asking you. you so yeah. we have all different kinds. Some people, nothing. Yeah. And you had a, you had a tougher recovery. I, I did, yeah. I did, but it was, I would say three, three or four days it was pretty tough. And then after that, it just got gradually better each day. And I'm gonna stick up here her one week so you can kind of see what she looked like at about a week after her rhinoplasty. I've okay. had to, oh, I was like, oh! I'm gonna stick it up here. <laughs> um, yeah, well good, well I yeah. appreciate it. So I'm gonna go back here to your side. Let's just go to your front view. So here's your front view. Um, and you know, it's it's very, very subtle. And that's, it is. I think that's one of the things that I like about having you on this series is it's not a dramatic transformation. Right. And it doesn't always have to be. It's funny because even my parents are like, when I told them I was going to do it, they're like, why would you do that? And then afterwards they're like, oh, you still look like you. So it's not like it changed my face completely to where I'm a different person. Yeah. I mean, even your whole face, like all the different things, the injections, the yeah. treatments, like you still look like you, just, just yeah. a little filter. Yeah. Yeah, I'm filtered now. <laughs> <laughs> well, great. Well, thank you for doing this for us. Yeah, I really absolutely. appreciate it. It was fun. And uh, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you.